Specifically to the to the competition itself, I mean, they, uh, you know, obviously there there was a need for 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 this type of uh, competition. Just just how many people uh, entered? entered? How many designs uh, were entered? What was it that made? Uh, uh, architects uh, design sort of stand out and become the winner in this particular uh, case? We receive a total of 117 entries mm -hmm. and uh, this came from about 30 countries mm -hmm. so it's divided into two categories and basically the entries came as far as Austria, Germany, right. USA. So, so we've got so many we've got so many great ideas uh, that came in from overseas from all over the right. world but I mean how exactly uh, what is what was the criteria what what was it that made uh, this design uh, you know, stand out and be the winner. Uh, where we're dealing with with floods constantly here, the threat of floods. We're dealing with uh, you know, we're calling it design against the elements. Yes. What, yes. Spe what are the specifics <clears throat> that that make this design so uh, impervious to the elements? Well, it was really tough mm -hmm. judging from all those entries, and they were mostly were very they were very green also. All right. But you had to come down and you have to pick out really somebody who's the the the, the winner in uh -huh. that sense. Uh, this one came out to be. I guess the top because it's of uh, because of its uh, qualities such as its buildability, mm -hmm. adaptability, uh, replicability, and of course, it's very simple. Okay, and is very that adaptable. is that is that the key towards making it you know flood proof or earthquake proof? Uh, you know the choice of materials and the simplicity of the of the design. Is that what? Well, uh, yes, specifically because this is supposed to counter or be able to. Uh, uh, design the community in harmony and still manage to deal with the typhoons. Uh -huh. These buildings are, houses are built on stilts actually. Okay. Steel actually, steel mm -hmm. frames. Okay. And uh, the flooring and the walls are renewable, bamboo, bamboo. the most common uh, material. Well, that, that's, uh, that's an interesting thing yes, that, that, yes. that there's so much high tech being discussed here. Uh, mixed with yeah, but you're actually yes. uh, well uh, mixing mixing things. Is that something that you you you'd like to uh, explore more on? I mean, uh, obviously the designs seem to be very uh, high tech, but then again we seem to also go back to basics with the use of uh, yes. bamboo and that sort of thing. Is the method of uh -huh. is that uh, in your designs? Is yeah, that something yes, that you, like you know, to, be, to be sustainable, it means also uh, to use the material from the place where you are going to be. It yes. means that you are going to reduce local material. Yeah, local material. You are going okay. to avoid, not to import uh, materials from very far away. It mm -hmm. In this way, you reduce the pollution. Okay. So that's really very important. Also, in our design, we use a steel frame, we use bamboo, mm -hmm. and uh, as much as possible, all the local materials. All the local materials. So from the winning design and the winning entry, uh, how does it now become a reality? How does it now turn into you know a design that can actually be made and, and used by people, bought and paid for by people, and what are the type of costs involved with uh, this type of uh, building? The initial phase of date, we have partnered with uh, Mayor Herbert Bautista, okay. who will be providing the area to mm -hmm. build the mm -hmm. first uh, date uh, winning design, but it's still in the planning stages. We have not really uh, identified what would be the details and how much would be the cost, mm -hmm. but everything is now being uh, discussed with all the proponents. And maybe we can come back here and give you a more detailed time. Absolutely. Timelines. We'd love to check out one of the houses right. once, once they're built. Um, is it for anybody? Uh, can anybody actually take part in, in the project? I mean, if I was interested in having this type of a design or living in this type of a community, uh, can, do, do I qualify for that? Is it particularly targeted towards anyone in particular? Well, um, since the initial phase will be a tie-up with the Quezon City government, mm. the priority would be uh, for the marginalized sectors of the community. In Quezon City. In right. Quezon City. Okay. Well, that's but that's the beauty about this thing. It's uh, actually um, with this design, which is, I think, uh, going to be, which can be adapted in other countries, other maybe people can, can, this will be shared with other communities yes. all over and it's adaptable. Right. In fact, so the plan is to compile everything uh, yeah. and to have an encyclopedia of all the designs so that this can be shared not only in the Philippines but also internationally. All right. Yes. But I want to latch on to the, you yes. know, the term that you used there, adaptable. Yes. Um, what, are, what are some of the learnings perhaps from uh, these designs and what are the, some of the learnings that maybe that we, we can br bring in from from overseas and the learnings all over the world that we can sort of adapt to to our current homes to make them a little more weatherproof to make them a little more disaster proof what are some of the the tips that you can give us that can make people who who now have homes uh, improve the way those homes are to make them a little more disaster proof well starting with the structural rigidity 
uh, the, uh, the, the original design calls for steel frames. Mm -hmm. That could very well be concrete, which is also available in our country. Okay. Steel, starting with the steel frames, the skeletal frame of the building is the most important. Anything else, the cladding beside that, it can be bamboo, it can be other materials, can be done to provide also uh, variations in design. Mm -hmm. And with the Filipinos' ingenuity, give them a home. In one year's time, you go back, it'll be ornamented, with, <laughs> filled up with so many other decorations, you will not recognize it. That's true. But that's they true. need a strong structure to start with, uh, not this flimsy housing that you see around. That uh, will not last. Would you agree? Is that, some of the, is that the, the biggest learning that you can pass on to, to the way that Filipinos have, have grown accustomed to building their homes? Uh, we seem to be always affected by the elements, yet we continue to build in a certain way. Yeah. What, what are some of the learnings that you could, uh, easy learnings that you could uh, pass uh, on? Yes, I, I I agree and um, it's very important the, the, the rigidity of the structure mm -hmm. but from my point of view also uh, since the, the competition was uh, focusing also in uh, in uh, saving energy which is very important right. I think would be very nice very good uh, for people to uh, save energy as much as they oh, can. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yes. Uh, when it will be possible also to produce energy but now it's not possible so very important to save energy. All right uh, you know one of the biggest Killers, uh, you know, when the earthquake does strike, it's when the when the structure does collapse. Yes. Uh, you know, we were we were touching on that earlier, uh, yes. and it's amazing when you look back now at the way the choice of materials back then, like you, you were talking about bamboo yes. and such, it's, it's got such incredible strength. I think yes. it, it actually can rival many modern materials. Yes, Should yes. we be looking at that again in terms of, in light of all of this, this, this disaster and earthquake that's surrounding yeah, I, us at the moment? Yes, bamboo is just one of the most versatile uh, ma building materials we can use. Mm -hmm. it, it grows so fast, it, it's available, it can be grown in any other part of the country, so many parts of the country. Mm -hmm. It's a very good material for, for this type for of this structures. type of thing. All right. Well, this this project certainly has uh, sparked uh, s such great interest from people, and I believe it really has. Uh, it really is an idea mm. whose time has come. So I'd like to congratulate uh, architect uh, Romlo thank for, you very for much. his winning thank design, and of course, thank everybody who's uh, come in here this morning to share. Uh, what they have. Uh, we look forward to seeing one of these houses built and look forward to actually being there when it happens. Yes. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right.